well, that was a good result for Liverpool. Um, beating Aston Villa by two goals to one, as I'm sure you already know. Um, but, I mean, bloody hell, it, it went on and on and on that. Um, to, Liverpool just had to grind Aston Villa down completely. It was... it. It was the type of performance that Liverpool would have produced last season um, and the type of result as well, where we concede a goal, but we keep going, keep going, keep going, and eventually we got our reward. Um, in fact, it was actually really similar to the game against Aston Villa last season, uh, the one in November. Aston Villa go 1-0 up, Liverpool equalised, the goals disallowed by VAR, and Liverpool score two in the second half. Um, and I think we'll start with uh, Aston Villa's goal, um, Ollie Watkins, um, fourth goal against Liverpool in one season, which is incredible, really. And he, he is having a really good season. And um, it, Kabak did, did well to get to the ball to clear it, but he put it straight in the path of John McGinn. So um, he did well to get to the ball, um, but... Then when Ollie Watkins runs off him or jogs off him, he's got to follow him and stay tight to him. And he, he didn't do that. He allowed um, Ollie Watkins to have the space to have a touch and just hit it at goal. And Alice, Alisson's got to do so much better than what he did um, to save that. Um, it, it was a weak attempt at saving it. And that made it 1-0 to Villa at half-time. In the first half, I, I felt Liverpool were very uh, lethargic in um, attack, like uh, getting men forwards. There was no real urgency uh, to attack. Uh, but in the second half, oh, uh, just before half-time as well, uh, I forgot. Uh, Liverpool did score um, through Roberto Firmino. Great play by Trent Alexander-Arnold. Great ball to Diego Jota. Uh, shot cuts back, Robertson has a shot, um, it gets deflected to Firmino at the back post. Um, the first time I saw it, I thought it was an absolutely magnis magnificent finish from Firmino. Because he's got three Aston Villa players coming at him. And <clears throat> he's got to put the ball in the net, find a way of getting it past them. They've all slid at his feet and he's. it looks as though he's chipped it over them. But he's completely miskicked it and he sliced it over them. But fair play, I mean, it went in and it looked a good finish before they showed the replay. And But um, VAR disallowed it because Diogo Jota, the very corner of his sleeve was offside. It is getting a joke now um, with offsides. I, I said it yesterday with Fulham v Wolves when... Um, uh, with who scored it was it was Daniel Pedence um, was played for on goal and he crossed it to Willian Jose and um, it it was the same thing yesterday and it it is ridiculous now um, it's it's not offside it's what you call level it's it's a joke it is a joke um, and in in the second half Liverpool didn't uh, stop going and they kept going they kept going. And I, I, I'm quite happy with them today. Um, I know at times today things didn't really work out, but uh, the goal... Oh, um, it, it, first of all, Tyrone Mings um, also had a bit of a mare today. Um, there was a couple of times where he just kept giving the ball away too easily. And he even put Salah through on goal. And Salah just missed, putting it just past the post. Uh, but in the second half, Robertson uh, was played through by Milner, had a shot, Martinez saves it, Sander gets the rebound, um, that made it 1-1. And Liverpool just kept going for the full game. Uh, Villa did have a good opportunity through Trezeguet hitting the inside of the post, but it came back out um, and should have scored that, to be fair, I think. And um, in the very last minute of the game, uh, Jirden Shakiri crosses it into Thiago Alcantara, the save by the keeper, brilliant save from Martinez, and it falls to Trent Alexander-Arnold, whips it into the bottom right corner, brilliant finish. And he has to not only be in the squad for England, but he has to start. There is no way that he cannot start for England. It is, it's a joke that people are even considering him to not be in the squad. 
Like, fair enough. If you think that Kyle Walker gets in ahead of Trent, then fair enough. But Rhys James, come on. Yeah, he, he's good, but he's been good this season. All right. But he, he, what's he better at the, than Trent? There's, there, I can't think of anything. He, he might be marginally better at defending. But if we're England, we need to attack teams. We we can't just sit back and... Like, against the teams we're going to face, we're going to face Scotland. It's, it's, it's a joke. Um, like, fair enough with Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker, he's a bit clumsy when it comes to defending. Uh, he's prone to a mistake. But he also has lightning fast pace, brilliant on overlaps on the right-hand side. But Trent has to go. Um, it, 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 it'd be ridiculous. It, and Southgate was at the game today. And if he doesn't pick him, it, it, it's just ridiculous. Um, and, yeah, for Villa, um, they... It's, it's, hard, it's hard to rate their performance because obviously I'm watching it through, watching it as a Liverpool fan. Um, I, I wouldn't say they performed badly, but... Um, the few individual errors were definitely made. Uh, Martinez has been the best goalkeeper in the league this season, in my opinion. And he, he was brilliant today. There wasn't much he could do about either goal. Um, I thought Bertrand Traore was, wasn't great today. Some of his passes were absolutely dreadful. And yeah, he, he, he wasn't good enough today for Villa. Um just trying to think of who else noticeably did anything <clears throat> uh, for Villa. Um, Watkins put himself about as, as usual. Um, he, he nearly um, scored a second in the second half. It, it was brilliant play to notice that Nat Phillips had stepped up and he had the spacing behind from a ball over the top. Um yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say today. Um, I'm, yeah, Liverpool, good performance. Um, maybe they they weren't as urgent as they maybe could have been in the first half, but you know they won the game in the end. And top four is still on. Uh, as it stands, I'm recording this a bit later. It's currently six thirty. Um, Chelsea are beating Crystal Palace two now, so we're fifth. As it stands, so and Tottenham and West Ham have got to play as well. So if Leicester and Man United can do us a couple of favours tomorrow, then I will be very grateful. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.